With me in the studio is Professor Dirk Merba, and he heads the Cochlear Implant Centre at the University Hospital in Dresden. Now, Dr Merba, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, first off, um, what's the difference between children and adults learning speech or regaining speech after they have a cochlear implant uh, put in place? Nowadays, in the cochlear implant programme, we have about one-third children patients and two-thirds adult patients. And the main difference is that the rehabilitation after implantation focuses on speech acquisition in children and, and speech comprehension or regaining speech comprehension in adults. So how much work is actually involved uh, post the operation? Is that where, where most of it happens or...? Actually, that is the main topic of the cochlear implantation program. That means you need a multi-professional approach to improve and support speech acquisition in children. And this is not an easy task because children don't answer directly when they gain language. And that's why we have developed a research cooperation with the Max Planck Institute for Human Cognitive and Brain Sciences in Leipzig. And within that program, we will measure uh, event-related potentials and use these measures to assess the speech acquisition of these children. Okay. And once the implant is in place, how well can one hear? Like, how, how can you, I suppose, distinguish what speech, what you're speaking, or even music? Can they appreciate music? There's no clear answer, but adult patients can uh, impressively describe this phenomen phenomenon. And they think that at the beginning, the implant sounds like a computer uh, voice and after time they get the ability to understand speech rather well. Uh, using music, have fun with music, that's a rather difficult topic and that differs in a great variety between patients. Okay. And should a child, for example, also learn sign language once they have their implant put in place, for example, if it fails or...? That depends on the family surrounding. The, the main goal in that program is to give the child, to give the child, the best communicative uh, abilities. And if the family uses sign language, of course, sign language has to be uh, part of the communication as well. The question is different if the family surrounding and the social surrounding is just a surrounding with spoken language. Okay. And what's the situation in other countries? Are these implants widely available and are they expensive? They are rather expensive and of course they are now uh, available in different parts and most parts of the world. The main point is that the rehabilitation process needs to be specialised, although in these developing countries and that's the point where we can support these teams. Professor Dirk Merber, thank you very much for joining us on the show.